right, no hot water service call. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. I really am doing something wrong with my life. <sighs> oh, no, they don't. They really have carpet in the basement, really? Okay. Let's see what we got. We have a, uh, an indirect. Cold. Bradford White. Let's see why she cold. There is a uh, supply, and that's return. Uh, oh, we got an error. All right, so I got an error of low water cutoff. Hmm. Here is. The low water cutoff wiring. The red and the white is our 24 volts. The two yellows are our end switch. And if we follow that up to here, there is nothing illuminated there on the RB24. So either it's not getting 24 volts or it's dead. So that means they have no heat or hot water in the whole house, with the exception of the two Bosch ultra cold climate heat pumps that we installed a few months back. Purring like a kitten. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I disconnected the four wire Molex connector that's plugged into the low water cutoff. I'm getting 26 volts, so we have a bad low water cutoff. If I jump out the two yellows, that error should go away. All right. I got a little piece of thermostat wire that I found on the floor. Stripped the ends off with my needle nose. Okay. And this is just for testing purposes. Yellow to yellow. That's a great sign. Let's see if we have to reset the error here. I'm not familiar with this model. We good. Houston, we have ignition. We also have a brand new RB24 here in my hand. I'm gonna go swap that out. Now that I know the system is running and nothing else is wrong, I can proceed with giving the customer a diagnosis and getting the job done while we're on site in one trip, saving the customer time and money. Yes, parts are on the truck. Well, I gotta admit, at least they were the installer was smart enough not to use PTFE tape on the threads. You gotta give the installer credit for that. So this is just a case of manufacturer failure. Now, I'm not gonna talk bad about the RB24. I love the RB24. I think she's great. But what I do love is the new McDonald Miller I think it's a three in one or a four in one lower to cut off does hydronic steam 24 volt and 110 volt all in one device huh yeah you heard that right a single low water device that you can have in your truck that does steam and hot water or and or hot water 24 volts or 110 volts check this out so check this out guys the McDonald Miller, this is their FPC 1000P. It's a standard probe. Part number is 144705. Uh, I picked it up at FW Web, which is my primary supplier. And it's a field configurable, low water cutoff for steam and hot water boilers. Now it looks like a PSE 80224. It's a little bit fatter 
than that. But this thing called Boiler Whiz, this thing is sick. So let's review what's, how this can be configured. Number one, boiler type, steam or hot water. Control mode, you can do manual or automatic. So a manual reset. We, and we have the status indicator lights. Now I'm almost positive that it's for 110 and 24 volts. Let me double check the paperwork. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it handles 24 volts and 110 volts uh, based on how you are and what terminals you use. Guys, check out the manual. It's and there's a quick start guide. Wow, this is awesome. This is gonna revolutionize service trucks in the heating and HVAC world because you don't have to carry four different low water cutoffs. Steam, automatic reset, manual reset, hot water, manual reset, automatic reset. Four devices in one for hydronic or steam heat and two voltages in one for 24 volts or 110 volts. Now just imagine that McDonald Miller was a sponsor of the Mikey Pipes HVAC training facility right here in Woodmere, New York. That would be epic. Guys, I put up a third video on Friday, it's a couple days ago, on principles of the thermocouple, how it works, how to troubleshoot, how to, how to diagnose it. Details on the Mikey Pipes HVAC training channel on YouTube. Check it out, guys. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If, if you were like the contractor who was at this job on Friday night, pulling his hair out, didn't know if it was a bad lower cutoff, bad transformer. If you run into a failed RB24, green light isn't on, check your power. Make sure you have the proper voltage coming in. If you don't, find out why you don't. And if you do, do your due diligence and see maybe there was a short that shorted out the, the old original low water cutoff and you put a new one and it's gonna die out as well. I didn't think I showed it on camera, but we did an ohms, sorry, we did a amperage test on the wiring, make sure nothing was funky there and it was all within range. So do your due diligence and you'll save yourself the aggravation and embarrassment of a recall. It's gonna cost you time and money. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.